Hey guys, happy splasher here. Good morning. So right now I'm going to do day three of the Dark Tower run for the week. I saw that they made a couple of changes uh, to the game so far. So one of the big changes actually for the game is actually that we will not get copper coins if we lose at this point, which is disappointing. But we will do what we can right now. Uh, also, oh yeah, there was another thing too. They said that the pirate skin for if you're using the pirate skin, the enemies will try to actually avoid the damage pentagrams. So in that case, uh, yeah, it might not be as good as it normally is, but yeah, we'll just use our normal skin and we'll go from there. So we do have our three attempts. We have four more wins to get, and hopefully we can get it done. So yeah, let's uh, let's hop right in. We are currently using the Geisha skin along with the Lady Pet. Okay, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. So we have the Atom over here. This one deals damage. And then also it has Archers and then an Order attack boost. They also have a Honeydew, which gets a little bit of a health boost to their heroes. <sighs> this is going to be tough because they do have that damage skill first. We do have two heroes that can do multiple summons. And I think it's probably going to be better if we go actually with the Floss over here. Although it's close. We can get more summons immediately, or we can have more heroes that could potentially stay alive. But I think, yeah, I think the Floss is going to be better. So I'm going to summon the Floss over here on B1. This one will summon plants, and then those plants can summon other plants. Ooh, okay. So they have the Ariok over here. This gets bleeding to our heroes whenever they come into play. That'll that also ruin kind of our Floss setup over here, but that is okay. I'm going to go with the melee hero over here on D3 with Metal Shield. And you see a little bit of bleeding. Okay, our Floss is now gone, which is not what we want to see. But this hero is now poisoned, so we can actually get rid of it with our Destruction Skill very soon. Which will probably be... I guess it'll be now, actually. Because we don't want our heroes to get more bleeding, so... I'm going to go with our Vampire Summon. As you see, it comes into play with bleeding. And then we'll do our Destruction Skill to get rid of this hero as well. Yeah, it has high health, so it might as well. All right, so these heroes are all going to be destroyed. I'm going to summon a hero with potentially high health to block. This one here is actually not bad. It has decent health stats. Building probably going to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So this range hero, it will deal uh, damage to the enemy who attacked if a melee hero is attacking our line. Okay, you got this range hero over here. This has attack steal, gives attack steal at the end, and we'll freeze one of our heroes when attack steal triggers. Mm, yeah, going to simply destroy this. Don't need to use a shuffle now because it's only the one hero. So I'm going to summon this melee hero on A3. This one here has a death trigger when it, it turns into a, a totem when it dies. You see right here, this totem will reflect damage, give us an attack boost when we heal, and then also heal our allies. They have the grace over here, dealing the random damage. Not what we want to see. We will need to destroy this because we can't let them take care of our board. So we'll summon this range hero over here on A2, just to give some damage. And we will need to find a way to get rid of this as quickly as possible. Uh, so we have this melee hero. This one gets an attack boost or equal to their health whenever our warlord is attacked. Uh, good block over here. Could do that. Let's see how much block this is. It's nine block. Hmm. So I guess we could, yeah, we could potentially summon this again. I wonder if it's going to be more important for us to take less damage now or to stop the damage from later. So if this hero does get extra attack, we will be destroyed. There is a chance we could do a shuffle to get rid of some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to take the chance and see if we can find some stronger heroes. Okay, so in this case, got that. It's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to go... Uh, ooh, you know what? We have the Sheer Shot over here. This one deals random damage to an enemy around. That could be enough to actually destroy both of these things. Oh no, it's six damage! <laughs> okay, so they have the Legion over here. This gets an extra attack for every order hero that attacks before. Going to go summon our range hero. Okay, and that should be enough to destroy this. We do need to find a hero to stop the Legion. 
We do have this melee hero with flight, but again, they still have their damage skill, so they could just shoot it from the air. Going to guess we'll... I have no idea how much health this is going to have. Because we do have our Gleedy Pet, so let's see. So it gets 18 and that. So potentially could stop that. Although they also do have their summons as well that will allow them to get extra attacks. Ugh, it's going to be close. But I think we're going to go with our melee here with the flight just to be safe. Yeah! Now we are a little short. We are two health away. So now they're just going to shoot it out of the sky. Yeah, we are, we're going to be taking lethal here. What a bummer. All right. Well, we will try that again. <laughs> so close. Okay, they are now using an ogre with a drogon pet. Okay, they have the mislapin. This one will freeze our heroes in the line for a turn once they're attacked. Also gives our heroes negative attack when they're summoned in the line. Also will heal the warlord for Wow, okay. I didn't know they had a healing skill for the, the warlord. Okay. Uh... That, that, that. Okay, so we have this ogre work. This deals random damage to three enemies when it attacks. Also gets an attack boost for allies in the row. Cool. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Kind of avoid this line, actually. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but we're going to also... We also have this building here that gives us mental shield. So I do want to protect that, and then we'll still be able to deal damage anyway. So this should be okay. Also has decent stats as well. Okay, this melee hero here has mental shield, also deals damage whenever the mental shields disappear. Okay, uh, let's see. Good combo over here, it's got a negative attack. Oh, could could break the shield, that would be fine. I'm gonna summon this range hero over here on C1 to block and see the negative attack to boom slap him. We do have a summon in front of itself, so a little bit of protection. Okay, got this totem over here, summoned by the Cursed Shaman. That totem gives spikes. Uh, let's see. So we take a, probably a little more damage, but we're going to be... Eh, I think it's probably better for us to do our skill. It's going to be close, but... So if you look at here, destroy that, here. Yeah, I'm going to go with our uh, vampire. And then... Yeah, going to go with the destruction as well, just to get rid of these. Uh, also, we can give an attack boost over to our hero, so that's okay. We're gonna go next with this melee hero over here on D3. This one here has high health, also gives us metal shield to our warlord. Then we can also destroy the totem. Okay, they did the silent skill, which is what we need. Okay, we have the dandy croc over here. This one kills our heroes with less than 25% of health, also gives a health boost and attack steal. Let's see. Uh, you know, we could actually summon our own dandy croc. That wouldn't be too bad. Find a way to destroy this. This hero here deals damage whenever we heal. But again, we do want to get rid of the Dandy Croc over here as soon as possible. See, so leave that over there, here. Yeah, I think this is fine. I'm going to go with this range hero over here on a <laughs> one. And see that Dandy Croc does have spikes as well. Okay, so that hero's gone. See how much spikes we'll have. 64. Okay, so we have the mental shield on our hero at least. Got this melee hero over here. Gives an attack boost to order heroes and then also a health boost of and uh, whenever an order ally comes on play for them. Kind will destroy that. We're going to go with this flight hero over here on D3 just to block this melee hero. Ooh. Got a Yoaster. That's going to help out a lot. But they have their own Yoaster too. Oh no! I think we're still going to do it anyways. Oh, but oh, they still have their summons over here. Ah, combat, combat for, what is that, 424? Mm. Yeah, oh man, if we had one more turn or if we save our destruction skill earlier or something, we do need a board wipe as we are running very low on health uh, because they also have their own Yoaster. So I'm going to do a shuffle. Normally I would be summoning the Yoaster now, but it is going to be destroyed by both the attack of the Shaman and then also the their Yoaster. So I'm going to do a shuffle. Got a Might then. Could potentially wipe out the entire board. Uh, at the very least, it will destroy the the Shaman here. And I'm going to summon it actually over here on D2. 
two. And just wipe out the whole board. I mean, that works out. <laughs> so the reason I summon this my 10, uh, one, it does the ran the damage equal to the health of one of our heroes. More importantly, though, we summon it on D2 because we also get some health back whenever one of our heroes are destroyed. So we can get some, well, we can get some health back now. Now, uh, this melee hero gives, let's see, block two allies around. Also has spikes. Okay, we'll do a range summon. Get some attackers on the board and then also use them as heroes to get some health back. And I think this time I'm not going to get in the way of the My 10 as we do have a decent attack on it. So I'm going to go with this melee hero over here. Yeah, go with this melee hero over here just to attack this. Also to help block for our metal shield building. Okay, they summon the Ghosta. This Ghosta deals damage to our Warlord whenever we are attacked. Also deals random damage to one of our heroes. I think we're going to have enough damage anyways to get this through. So let's see. Assuming this one gets destroyed. Assuming this one gets destroyed. Okay, I'm going to go with the... Oh, let's see. So this My 10 also gets an attack boost whenever a male appears. And so we don't have enough damage now, but we can summon this male hero and potentially, well, this could potentially destroy the ghost or this snake could actually just uh, deal lethal. So we'll go with this over here on B3 yeah. and see if it works. Okay. And yeah, we did have multiple attacks on the Mina, but we did have enough heroes to avoid the ghost of damage and go for lethal there. All right, so let's see what we get for rewards. Legendary. And got some more snake. <laughs> Outfitting. Okay, yeah, let us keep going. Okay, uh, we're facing an ogre with a sentry pet. Sentry pets give attack boost whenever an enemy appears, end of turn, and when a ranged enemy kills. Hmm. Okay. So, a couple of heroes with high health. This hero here can deal random damage to two, to two random lines. Which could help us out. I guess it would be a, a good way to clear out some of these buildings. It also has flight too, so a little bit of protection. So I'm going to go with this melee hero over here on B3. Just to protect our building. This will give health to one of our heroes. And again, hopefully that random damage will hit something. Okay, we have this range hero. This one does attack steal. Also freezes one of our heroes whenever our warlord is attacked. I'm going to go with this melee hero over. I'm going to go with this melee hero over here on C3. Just our C2 rather. This one here has flight and reborn, so a little bit of protection. Mm, okay, so that is gone. We'll have combat destroy this. This range hero has flight, also freezes one of our heroes when it dies. Uh, let's see. This hero here. When this hero is attacked, we'll summon an extra attack rune. We have a building here that gives extra attack to one of our heroes at the end. I think that's going to be okay. This hero is pretty strong, but again, really do want to save for now. I'm going to go with our vampire. Okay, and it looks like we will be able to block. This vampire can also deal damage at the end of the turn, so we can at least set up for a board wipe. I'm going to go next with this building over here on A2 so that we have all our lanes protected. Also got some health back off our melee kills. Okay, this is fine. Oh, you know, we can give bleeding. That's cool. So this melee hero here gives an attack boost to male allies at the end of the turn. Oh, we can actually destroy this. Okay, this this will be good. So we're going to go next with this melee hero over here on D3. This one has extra attack. Also attacks enemies behind. And because of this hero's skill, we were able to actually destroy this hero, even though it did have flight. Okay, we have the Cernan over here, steals attack from our heroes. Also, this will give a totem when it dies. Going to go with this range hero over here on D... Hmm, yeah, this one on D2. Didn't want to use the attack rune quite yet. And also, they still do have that silence skill, which will allow them to run through here. So they did that. They also did their stones. These will heal the warlord. This is okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, so combat here, combat here. Okay, this range hero will summon a tree 
at the end of the turn in front of himself. I'm going to go with this melee hero over here on D, uh, C2. This one here has uh, damage to enemies around target, so you can see we can actually wound all these stones. Oh, that is not what I wanted to see. This is... This is not good. <laughs> so this mad genius over here, this one will be able to heal whenever any of their any of the any of the warlords are attacked and also gives negative attack as well don't have enough damage to actually destroy it we'll need to wait one more turn in order to get this through so this is here this is here yeah okay so normally i was going to do a destruction skill to get rid of these but now I do need to wound this hero in order to actually get it <laughs> taken care of so i'm just oh no i forgot about the stones what am i doing what am I doing? Alright, so you know what? I'm just going to do a destruction skill now. Uh, also going to follow up with... Let's see... How am I going to do this? I need to deal enough damage to destroy this. Uh, I guess I'll find a, sh find a hero to get through here. This melee hero will steal attack from our ranged heroes. Also gives us negative attack to our melee heroes. So I'm going to do a shuffle. See what we can find. Uh, nothing here. That negative attack is really slowing us down, by the way. All right, and we'll do one more shuffle and see what we can find. That is not as helpful. All right, uh, let's see. We can do that. This hero here deals damage whenever one of our heroes are destroyed, but that's not going to be enough. Still also do need to worry about this Vanakori that does that reflect damage, but I think I'm just gonna go with this melee hero over here on D2. And see, we're dealing some damage. We'll get some health back off of some of our heroes being destroyed by the Bastet damage. Yeah, but now there's there's just too much protection on the board. I'm gonna go with our range summons. <clears throat> so combo will destroy this, potentially just this. I'm going to need to deal damage to actually destroy this. This hero here does poison damage at the end of the turn two of our heroes so i guess we'll go with the hero with the high attack yeah. okay so at least this is destroyed now only need to deal with this mad genius okay that building is gone hero is gone they have the dead lord with the multiple zombies and yeah we we don't have enough to get through so it's unfortunate. If they didn't summon that mad genius with the health boost, we would have been fine. We also did that misplay where we summoned the range here to try and wound it, even and there the stone was there. But, okay, oh, well, we'll keep going. <clears throat> okay. So they have a drogon pet. This one gives a health boost to one of their heroes. Also, you got attack boost as well and extra damage whenever a male enemy kills something. I'm going to go with this melee hero over here on the uh, A3. This one will summon two archers behind themselves, also summons a squire whenever we destroy one of the heroes. And as you can see, we have a little bit of protection on our lanes and few attackers. These squires will give us some attack boost to all allies block. And this is not what we want to see. So we have the Bastet here, came to play, deals damage to all of our heroes. Also, we'll deal extra damage when one of our heroes are destroyed. Hmm. Okay, going to go with our Vampire Summon, see if we can use it as a blocker, which that does not happen. Going to go next with this mail, uh, this, sorry, this building over here on B2. This one deals damage at the end of the turn to all enemies. And so we can just have this wounded for now. Okay, we have this range hero here, has a death trigger to deal damage to one of our, to our warlord. I'm going to go with the destruction skill to get rid of this. Okay, we also have another squire here. And, let's see. I'm going to go next with this melee hero over here on uh, B3. This one will, will freeze one of the enemies at the end of the turn. We're also protecting <clears throat> our building from potential silence or damage. And we do want to slow this hero down because we couldn't destroy it. Okay, we got this melee hero. And this one gives negative attack to enemies in line. Also deals damage to our heroes whenever our warlord is attacked. Or their warlord is attacked. Going to go with the... Let's see here, here. 
going to go with the grace down. Let's see here. What's going to be more important? Yeah, I'm going to go with the grace over here on a one. Yeah. Do you want some of this random damage to hit heroes? And also at the same time, we do want the attack boost given to our heroes when we kill something. Ugh. Okay, so <laughs> so this floss here got a health boost at the end of the turn, and then also these plants will also help them get a health boost because of the poison. Uh, can't destroy this directly. Combat here. This here is also poisoned, but it can take some damage, so that's okay. Going to go with this melee hero over, let's see. Yeah, gonna go with this melee hero over here with the reborn on A3 yeah. just to protect our grace. It looks like our grace now has seven extra attacks, so we need to keep her alive so that we can deal some damage. Okay, got this range here over here, freezes two of our rain, uh, two of our Heroes, except nature, also deals extra damage to our Warlord when we're attacked. <sighs> Only we can deal damage. Okay, the Totem will deal damage at the end of the turn to all these heroes. We'll have some protection over here. Combat here. Don't want this frozen. Do want to get rid of the poison, so what we'll do is we will summon the Alexandria over here on the one. <laughs> we'll get a health boost because of the Life Palace coming out from the Alexandra here. And more importantly, we get rid of, oh no. Oh, that Goliath, aw oh, man. All right, yeah, this Goliath. So the Goliath combo with the Floss because whenever an enemy appears, we'll deal damage to all of our heroes. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we tried to protect it as much as we could. I guess we could have, yeah, we could have blocked over there, but yeah, we're gonna be taking lethal now because of the uh, number of plants summoned by the Floss. So I guess we could do a shuffle, maybe. You know, we could have even done the shuffle from the previous turn, see if we could could have drew into my 10, but... Eh, well, I guess we'll do a shuffle now and see what we can get. Nothing and nothing. Yeah, we're going to be taking lethal here, so... Unfortunately, we will take the loss at the end here. What a bummer. Ugh. So definitely not a good day three run. As you can see, we were uh, overwhelmed by a couple of the summons. But yeah, well, we'll have we'll have another run in oh, about uh, one and a half days. So yeah, we will check back in next time, and hopefully we can get this done. So yeah, we'll see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.